welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I've got a haul. Mostly Dollar Tree but I also wanted to show you some deals I picked up this weekend. Um, it is Monday Labor Day here in the U.S. and it's a holiday so I didn't have to work. Yeah so I did a little bit of shopping today. Nothing major. I don't need a bunch of stuff but I needed a few things. So First, my coffee in my Huntington Bank Tervis cup that we got as an associate appreciation gift this year. Um, we celebrate that at my bank in May, and this gave us Tervis cups. And I have cinnamon vanilla nut coffee. Mmm, so good. All right, I'm going to sit that down. And Alex, you be nice. All right, first, ouch, things first. I went to Target. To see what they have out for their fall. These are not great deals, but these are cute stuff. So first and foremost, I mean, if you know me, you know I had to buy this. And I got to spray this down. It's just a standing sign, but it's a black cat with a lot of gold glitter. So what I'm going to do is clean it off and seal these ends because there's literally glitter everywhere. But look at my black cat because, duh, I have black cats. This could stay out year-round at my house. Um, and it was $3. Um, I actually, you'll see when I do my, I'm going to do a tour of my living room, dining room, kitchen, fall decorating, because I really don't do any other decorating in my condo. Um, but you'll see where I put this. So I got the black cat. And he was $3. Um, I picked up this uh, cheese cutting kit with the three different knives. This is for charcuterie trays. It'll be perfect, and I'm thinking I want to do one for Thanksgiving, so it's just going to be a small little get-together. Um, so this comes with three different knives. They can cut cheese, cheese balls, soft foods. You don't really want to use anything too harsh. And this was also $3. Um, on clearance, I got this for $1.50. It was uh, half price. It says market, eat, sleep, repeat on that side, but... There's nothing on this side. And again, I can serve cheese on this or cut up things. Um, I wouldn't use it as like a necessary cutting board, but more of a serving board. And just lay it on my table with a bunch of different cutting boards. Yeah, so I liked that a lot. I picked that up for $1.50. Um, for my wall in my kitchen, OMG, please look at this. It spells out eat and they're wooden letters. And these are a good size. I mean, this is my hand, you know, I'd say a good eight inches. I wonder if it says how tall they are. Probably not. Um, and this was $5, and I do need to hang them, but I think I can leave this up year-round in my kitchen and kind of decorate seasonally around it. And I like the wood color, although I might stain these a darker. The dark, I prefer darker wood. Uh, but I don't want to also ruin them. I saw exactly one at my store. Um, I don't want to paint it white. I definitely want to leave it wood. I'm opening it. It's mine. We can do that. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it would take stain. It's not. It's MDF board. So we'll just leave it this color for now. Maybe if I get bored one day, I'll paint them white. But yeah, these are nice. I mean, that's size of my head and they have a little sawtooth to hang on the back so I'll just hang some push pins measured out and put this on my wall and it does come with all three letters yeah I was excited to find that I love things at this that I can find that can be utilized for more than just fall, spring, winter. I mean, I love seasonal stuff too, but something like that I can leave up all the time in my kitchen. And the last thing I bought at Target, they have these sheets. It's vinyl. Um, it doesn't say the brand. And the only reason I bought it is because it's like a coppery color and I don't have this color vinyl for my um, Cricut. But it's a dollar sheet, which really isn't bad, because if you bought vinyl, the Cricut brand, you basically get a 12 inch by 24, so two sheets worth, and it's $7.99. These are a dollar a sheet. Um, but it doesn't say, uh, la, 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 la. 
it doesn't say if it's like dishwasher or so what I this is brown what I get is um, there's a name for the brand I buy but it's outdoor grade but I think this will be fine too I just wanted to try it um, and see they had gold gold glitter all the other colors I already have but I did not have this color so I purchased that for a dollar and like I said that's not a bad deal so that was it at Target. Um, they were just putting their stuff out. Um, I saw lots of things, but I don't need lots of things. That's kind of where I'm at with life. I did go to CVS yesterday, and I got this, these Burt's Bees. You need to check your CVS for clearance. This was $1.50, and it's a purifying mask, and it'll be a great stocking stuffer. So I grabbed that. Um, these Bamboo Skewers, which I love skewers, these are $0.29. Cents. They were regularly $1.99, so I grabbed a pack. They're great for, like, packing lunches. Summertime, obviously, but in the winter, I put, like, sausage cheese, sausage cheese, and then, like, and pack them, and it's not all spilling everywhere. Throw it in a baggie. So I grabbed those for $0.29, cents, and then I got this for free with coupons. It's just Alme Blush for my skin. I grabbed that. I uh, went to Meyer for some groceries, and they had a 75% off, and I grabbed some binder clips for my bullet journal or whatever. So for 75 cents, I thought that was a good deal. I can show you what they look like. These are fun ones. They're not like those black ones that are plain. These are gold, and you can see through them. So I thought that was fun. I just grabbed it off the clearance table. Next stop, I went to Bath & Body. I had a coupon to buy any or a free full-size product. So I grabbed some shower gel, champagne apple honey with shea and vitamin E. Oh, it smells so good. And there was a free full-size item. So I grabbed that for the shower. I was actually looking for fall candle because I would need it. I want leaves, uh, but they're not on sale yet. And then for my desk at work, I grabbed this little bottle here of the same smell. It's this apple. It's glare it's very fall this was regularly five dollars which is expensive but it does have shea butter and it just smells so good oh. and i had a 20 percent off so for four dollars and 20 cents i got this shea butter lotion and a shower gel and i was out of shower gel so that was perfect that they sent me a free one and my last stop was at Kohl's. Um, I had a coupon, 10 off a $25 purchase, and I had a $5 extra care reward. Um, and I was looking for work shoes, like brown, but I didn't see any. However, I found a pair of Keds, and I'll show you them in a second. And normally I don't wear Keds because they run very narrow, like Nike runs narrow. So do Keds on my feet. Um, and I didn't think Kohl's sold wide, but I was in the clearance section and I saw a seven and a half wide, which I tried on. It was a little too short. I needed the eight. So I went looking in the section where the shoes are and I found an eight wide. And these were regularly 49, boys, don't wrestle, regularly $49.99 on sale for $29.99. And then with my coupons and stuff, I got them for $16. Um, I'll probably ooh, save these for, there's a hair and it's not mine. I'm wondering, oh, it's like glued in. Okay, well, there, I got it. No, I didn't. I'll have to cut it out. It's, it looks like one of my cat furs, but it's like, there, I got it. Anywho. And these are just cute little flats. They're neutral. They're like a beige and white stripe, which pretty much goes with anything. Lace-ups. But these have memory foam and they have a nice arch support in them because you know our generation of kids wears are old now and we need arch support so i grabbed these for 16 dollars, which i thought was great and these will be awesome for next summer um especially when i go to ireland because i don't want like if you wear your tennis shoes in europe you just stick out like a sore thumb that you're american because in Europe, they don't tend to wear what they call trainers or tennis shoes. Well, this is what I read, and you may your mileage may vary, but when I've been to London, Paris, and Edinburgh, Scotland, and I didn't see a lot of people wearing tennis shoes. Um, and But I wanted a comfortable pair of shoes, so I thought. And I just don't want to stick out. But if I'm wrong, I do apologize, But and things might have changed. So, anywho. $16 for a pair of kids. 
So that was my deals for the weekend. I really didn't anticipate doing a lot of shopping, but I had seen some videos up where folks were getting their fall stuff at Target and I needed to go and see all the fall stuff. Mm. Which I did. Okay, Dollar Tree. I picked up for one reason and one reason only to show you how to make those bows that I made on my Pinterest. But I grabbed some Halloween ribbon to try and I have some upstairs as well. But I got this black sparkly. I got this orange and black with spiders and then a white, orange and black with pumpkins. And I think I have a purple upstairs. So I'm gonna put a video out this week on how I made the bows on my Pinterest nail it or fail it. So I needed some ribbon and these are a dollar and you get nine feet. So in theory, you could make four bows because each bow will take two like 10 inch strips. Yeah, you can make four full size bows, um, you know, you need at least three colors though. So for $3, you could get four bows. That's not a bad deal. And these are wired, so that makes it easier too. I found one more of these egg containers. I love them. And I had three in my refrigerator, and so I wanted a fourth. And these are made by Essentials. This is a Dollar Tree brand. It holds a dozen eggs. They work perfect. I've even run them through the dishwasher. I had an egg crack and it was gross and so i wanted to run it through the dishwasher and it was fine top shelf i just heard something really weird i don't know what that noise was but it sounded like opera music playing and i don't know where that would come from hmm okay anywho egg crates i love them um so now i have an even number four and that's just my Hey, Rini, what else did I get? Ooh, I found black cats and witches hats. These, um, what are these towels called? Flower sack towels. Uh, they're terrible. I would never use this as a towel. It's strictly decor. But for October, and I have black cats, I will hang it on my stove and call it. So I thought it was cute, and I liked the witches hats on it. And the black and purple is pretty. So these are fun. I honestly get one use out of them. I have tried washing them and they do wash obviously, but then they, you know, they have to iron. I will tell you the one good thing they're good for. If you do keto and I cook cauliflower and you want to squeeze the water out or zucchini for zucchini bread, they work good for that because they don't lint. And that's why they're nice for something of that nature. Just as a heads up. I picked up four jumbo blowers for a celebration that video I have coming out soon so I grabbed four pack of those I found this book I'm gonna read it it's a novel the autobiography of Santa Claus as told to Jeff Ginn are you kidding me is this not adorable and it is it's a full-size novel I mean it's 300 something pages and there's even a recipe in the back. I just think this is going to be perfect and I'm going to have it out for Christmas time. But yeah, it's a book. It's the best. Uh, Jeff Ginn is the best-selling author of numerous works of fiction and nonfiction, including Silver City Buffalo Trail, The Last Gunfight, and Go Down Together. The true untold story of Bonnie and Clyde, the former book's editor's at the Fort Worth Star Telegram, an award-winning investigative journalist. Oh, I'm super excited. And it's Santa Claus on a bike. I just thought it was sweet. They had a new shipment of books in. And I thought that was exciting. Now, I picked up some Halloween stuff and some other fall things. But I did grab these tea light holders. I love candles. I'm not a huge Halloween fan, but I just thought these would be adorable to put out. I might even spray paint them gold just to kind of make them a little more bougie, but we'll see. Um, but they're just a skeleton hand. You put a tea light in them, and I thought that was super cute. Just to set around and mix in with my fall for the Halloween's giving decor that I go with. So I got a pair of those. I found the ghost and the pumpkin, and these are just cute little 
ghosts and jack-o'-lanterns and you can put a tea light if you want behind those but i thought those would be sweet to just set out somewhere for halloween time again i'm not into like super scary halloween at all i prefer cutesy halloween i grabbed two more of these pumpkins for my mantle and when I do my tour, I'll show you where I'm utilizing these. But I thought these were pump. I love these. The, the cream with the gold. They have a nice weight to them. And they're just nice. They're nicely done. I love the color orange. And yes. So I grabbed two of those. Um, I did pick up two more bags of these beads. Now the funny thing is what I thought was black is really a super dark blue. But you wouldn't be able to tell. And the other benefit is I can do a red and green for Christmas. There's red and um, green beads as well. So I'm just sorting them right now. And then we'll do a video on how I make a beaded garland, small beaded garland with a Halloween theme to it. But I needed more. So I grabbed two of those. Um, in the same vein, I grabbed two of these glitters. Um, they're just great fall colors. I just look at them. And it's a super fine. I have a mug that's gold and I'm going to put on it um, a fall saying with this brown. So the mug is rose gold. I'm going to use this brown for my Cricut, and, but I'm going to dip the bottom in gold and, or one of these color glitters and do like a, a band of glitter at the bottom in some fall colors. And I could even mix a couple colors together for sure. So I'm going to do that. And it's a good deal um, because you get the variety. You don't get a ton of glitter, if you can see. And these are not resealable, but I would use two whole packets. And I'm probably going to do copper and gold together, but I grabbed two. And that's a good deal. And you just mix it with the Mod Podge that they sell too, if that's what you want to do. But I have um, Microwave Safe Mod Podge that I'll mix that in. And I'll show you how I do the mug. And then I picked this up because the pumpkin spice and everything nice. Um, I want to use that on something. And the pumpkins are cute. And the little, uh, they have a little bit of glitter, but nothing too exciting as far as fallout goes. Well, that was a long one. So that is everything. I hope you enjoy. I'm hoping to get my fall decor living room tour up this week as well um and i'm gonna do some baking today but you guys have a good one and i will talk to you later bye cheers